job brought to you by a basic pull-up bar with 250 pound clips, heavy duty rope, a heavy duty band, and a light duty band. That's it. Stop complaining and start working out. That's all there is to it. You guys know this is the sliding bracket hardware for the sliding door. I'm going to get another coat of uh, the flat black paint on there. I end up putting in three coats on there total, I think.
And yep, three coats. Here comes the third coat. Check it out. In case you haven't figured it out, I was marking all of the faces um, for drill holes, but also labeling them so I know where to put them back. This time I'm going to stain the frame first and then stain the individual pieces and glue them and then screw them. Yeah, I know we've talked about this before, but the new Varathane stain replacing Minwax at Home Depot um, has lumps in it usually. So to combat that, I usually keep the old can and get the new can and then split half and half and mix it back and forth, making sure I get all the lumps out and that it's mixed evenly. That seems to work pretty good. Both my father and my grandfather taught me to stain and paint. But with stain especially, you should start at the top and work your way down. That way your drips go down onto your project rather than starting at the bottom, working your way up, and then getting the drips fall back on the stuff you've already done. I don't know if that makes sense or not. But that way it's cleaner, it's neater, it's more even. Um, yeah. That's what I'm doing. I love staining. Much better than painting.
Sorry about the terrible camera angle. I should have moved the camera over. Apologize. I usually check it. For some reason I didn't. Anyways, you get the point. I'm just putting a coat of stain over every single piece of wood that I cut, made sure it fit, and sanded it. All right, as I'm waiting for that coat of stain to dry, I'm going to put this uh, piece of plywood that has the beautiful decorations on it. And right now I'm trying to rig up some type of system where I can glue it and put some weight on it to hold it down because you can see that the board is warped, which is a basic problem of every day of this truck building, excuse me, this camper building project, right? Always dealing with warped wood. And now it's about time to get that stain off the wood before it makes it too dark. So get a clean rag or a dry rag and just start wiping it all down. Putting, them where the, putting the pieces where they go after I'm done wiping them. After I'm done wiping them, son. Friends and family, my YouTube peoples, I love you guys, I miss you guys. I know I haven't posted a video in a while. I wanted to show you this beautiful sunset over here. Can you see it? Wow. Just You can't really tell the colors, can you? Maybe if I point up a little bit? Can you tell if I do that? Simply beautiful, right? Anyways, just wanted to touch base. Oh, look, they put new gravel on the road. Isn't that special? Glad I didn't wash my truck yesterday. Um, dogs inside because the coyotes, they're really fierce. And the ticks are really bad right now. Like, we're pulling off ticks left and right off the dog and ourselves. Ah, I just want to touch base with you guys. Let you know that I'm still working on the camper. You can see. Got my apron on right now. Taking a little break. Maybe I can upload this video tonight. Um, and let you guys know what's going on. Hold on, let me wipe the... Uh, it's cold. It's um, sunny out, but it's like 48 degrees. Getting down to... It's supposed to get down to 41 tonight, I think, again. It was down in the 30s two days ago. Or yesterday. <laughs> two days ago. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyways... How you doing? Just want to touch base with you guys and uh, talk to you for a minute. Let you know the camper build's going awesome. We had a trailer, so been super, super busy. Actually, I don't have the trailer in my possession. The guy from the owner of King of the Roads has hooked me up with it, and um, he's not really a sponsor, but I'm gonna give him a like a sponsor sponsorship spot on the show. I want to do a little commercial for him. Because he's giving to me basically at cost. And he's doing some other things for me for free. He didn't have to. Just a nice guy. 
goes to the same church that I, that I go to or um, that I used to go to up, up in the road. Anyways, um, how pretty that looks over there. It's gorgeous. See that fence right there? I make a really good picture. Black and white. Yeah, I can't wait to get back into photography too once I get the camper built when we're on the road. I'm not gonna walk very far. I just want to let you guys know that I'm working my bootay off to get this camper done. And the biggest thing is I went ahead and got the, I did get the foundation done. It's not completely screwed or attached to the uh, truck camper, but it's done. And I think it's a really good way, the way I did it, I think it's a really good way to do it. And you guys can see that for yourselves once I show you how I did it. Music's blaring in there right now, so I don't want to walk in there because then I have to cut the video off and all that stuff, turn the music off. But um, maybe I'll show you a picture of it. Right? Now, see what I'm talking about? It's got a foundation, kind of studded. And... Um, these two by two by threes are lighter than two by fours, so because I've got two axle trailer, twenty foot trailer coming, and it's seven thousand pounds per tra per axle, I believe. So I'm, I got plenty of weight allowance. Um, so much so that I'm building a full shower now. I'm doing a dry bath instead of a wet bath, like I was doing before. I'm gonna do a little bit of tile on the bottom of it too. Seems to be easier, smarter way to do it. Um, there's the shop over there. If you can see the truck camper at the base of it. Um, what else? Yeah, I've just been plugging along and, and I haven't had time to do a whole lot of videos. I've come in from the shop. Like, I kill it for three hours and then I just can't move. I'm sleep and take medicine and rest and then go right back at it. Like, that's my schedule. We have to get out of here as soon as possible. I've told you guys, excuse me, I told you guys this before, they're selling it, this place. And in fact, they've already moved out of state, so it's, they're just waiting on us to to get to skedaddle so they can get rid of it. Uh, I think they already have a buyer lined up. But, uh, yeah, so we're, I've been, been, oh, it looks like rain over there. Rain's, rain's coming. It's really pretty over here. Anyways, guys, um, thanks for sticking with me. I hope that uh, you're all doing well. Thanks for reaching out to me, those of you that keep, talk keep talking to me and encouraging me. It's It's been a heck of a journey. I can't believe I've been doing this for, what, February, March, April. So it's up 15, 14 months, 15 months. That's how long it's been taking me to build it. And maybe I should change the title of it. <laughs> how to build a camper instead of how to build a truck camper. Or maybe how to build a truck camper and convert it into a camper. A long title. Uh, you guys let me know what you think. And then, um, what else can I tell you? Um, I saw a beaver over here the other night. Oh, that was the other side. I saw him on the other side over there. Running across. I don't know if he left. Because that was, you guys remember, that was filled in with water right there where that fence is. That was like a lake. Just recently dried up. So maybe he was over there chilling. But anyways. Um, yeah, so we have to be out of here. And the plan is not getting out of here by May. It's already in the last two weeks of May. So maybe um, end of June, I'm thinking. And what I may do is I'm heading to Colorado, for, Colorado first. So I may get everything done except the plumbing and the electrical. And I have plenty of storage down there. You can see where the storage shop's going to be for my tools. I'll just bring my tools with me and do the electrical in Colorado. I have a friend to stay with. Actually, I have two friends now to stay with, and my son's there too. So, and he wanted to help me with the camper, but he's working. So maybe if I take the camper to him, he can. He said it would be so much fun to work on it together. So we'll work on it a little bit together. If you guys, can, I don't know, but better not get that music in my YouTube video. YouTube will give me a copyright infringement. Anyways, guys, I love you all. Be good to each other. Um, ooh, you hear that? 
Gunshot. Somebody's out there hunting. Maybe hunting coyotes. All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon. I'm going to hopefully get this video uploaded tonight. Maybe really late tonight, but uh, you'll have maybe the third week of May will be up there for sure. But I'm behind, and I apologize. Thanks for sticking with me. I love you guys. Have a good night. Again, I have to apologize for the terrible camera angle. What was I thinking that you guys could see through those cinder blocks? Like you all have x-ray vision. Oh boy, sorry about that. Anyways, all I'm doing is uh, making measurements and marking where the next two by three needs to go. And then I'm actually installing it, putting it where it goes, um, or preparing to put it where it goes because I also have to make the next piece the other side as well.
Yeah, so that stain needs to dry. I set those boards over on the other table to dry. And hey, look at that. I turned myself into a liar. <laughs> That's four coats now, right? Wow. Anyways, the more the better. And now while both those dry, I guess I need to do some cleanup, get this organized, get this picked up a little bit. Got the trailer coming soon. stuff from the truck I got from home people before I go get more stuff. Man, I didn't realize I was out of 1x2s. Or, uh, yeah, 1x2s and 1x3s. Um, I might have enough. Ooh, dark. I'm still here, I promise. Um, there you so I told you I was still here. Back. Yeah, I might have enough to do that cabinet. This is the closet rod for the um, closet rod for the whatchamacallit. I got me two trips, I guess, because my hands are full. Um, this is the closet rod for the mini closet where the uh, Epoxies. I'm working on the epoxy right now. So let me pause the music and I'll talk to you in a sec. Yep, so this is going inside this cabin. I just want to keep working tonight, but I've been going non stop. I gotta take a break. Um, I knew it wasn't more than three feet. I got too much. I was trying to decide if I should make it go all the way across or not. Got that middle post in the way. But I guess I could put it... Hmm. You know, just in case I have a jack I can put over there, you know, cushion the... Actually, that's a good idea. I'll put a couple of sweatshirts over there to cushion the tables when, I'm, when we're driving and, you know, whatnot. I guess I would pull all the way across. So, I'm going to do that tomorrow. I got this little cheap little miter box. I'm gonna screw it to the workbench, or screw it to this bench, something. And this is not how I'm gonna do it, but I'm just talking about it. I'll put that metal, uh, the metal pole for the tables in here, clamp it down, and then I'll use the sawzall. I really hope I didn't lose that blade with a special metal cutting blade for the sawzall. So that's why I got that. It was only four bucks. I figured that's a good idea. Actually, it's probably exactly where I'll do it right here. Screw it down right there. What else did I got? I got 
Oh, I got some saw blades because both saw blades got jacked on the, on the ceiling when I was cutting this piece off the ceiling right here. You can see I had to cut through some of the staples and neither saw can handle it. So both those blades are just destroyed. They wouldn't cut at all. So I'm going to replace those. Waste of money actually because I just bought those. The ones I'm replacing, I just bought this. And then, going with wood style for the closet um, holder. So, I'm just gonna throw some stain on that real quick. You know, might as well. But that can dry too. Uh, but in the meantime, so what do we got going here? We got the, uh, this is glued down. Like, I use the heavy duty construction glue and the spatula and smoothed it all out and glued it down and stapled it on the edges and coupled in the middle. Not a whole lot because I don't want to take away from the, the pretty picture that I designed. Pretty, the pretty picture. And then I'm using the cinder blocks to, to mash it down in place. So, and then these are the edges, the edge pieces here. Mm, I labeled it somewhere. This is the other side. Let's see. Well, it says on here. Oh, there it is. You can barely see it with the stain on there. Top pointing up. Top and left, I believe. That goes on that side. So this one goes on this side. Like this. Okay, so that's gonna go in there like that. Oh man, I gotta take that off and stain that too before going. Dang it. Um, I'm gonna stain that, let that dry, and then t tomorrow I'm gonna seal the edges with silicone so I don't have any leakage of my epoxy when I do the epoxy. I think I need to order some more epoxy. I don't think I have enough because it's gotta cover you know the depth of this. Probably, what's that, half inch? It's gonna go up half inch, not the whole thing. It's gonna have a little lip, which is what I wanted. And this is all done. They're not in place. Well, actually, the outside, the outside trim is not cut or done for that, so. Um, but all those small pieces are cut. They're not in place yet. They're just laying up there drying. They're all, everything's stained, and I'm, you know, learning um, or trying a different way of doing everything lately. You guys notice I've been trying to stain things as I go rather than all at the end so I can get everything covered in stain because I believe stain's a way of sealing the wood, protecting the wood, and you need that in a camper. But I'm hoping, you see those get lined up, you know, perfectly along there on both, on both sides. It's not straight right now. Don't worry about that. Um, I'm really hoping that how my plumbing will fit right through the, right through the middle of all that. You know, we're getting a bowl-like sink at the top. And then the P-shaped, I think the P-shape will, I'm going to have the P-shape going forward, so it's the side, and then straight down there. And then same with the, it don't matter about the, um, the whatchamacallit. I can have it run through the floor, too. I'll have it run up through the floor. But we'll see. Um, and then these things, it'll be the same type of, Jesus, as an example. It's all going to be tied in, you know, with a with the lip and the one by the one by twos on the sides, on the sides there. Really happy with the way it's looking. Decided to, I looked everywhere online, everything for a different type of. I really like this, but you know, I made the door before I, before I got this, and then it's too my door is too long, so. I think to remedy that, I'm just going to, I'm just going to take it down a whole layer. Um, so take off, you know, cut this whole, that whole piece out of there and then move everything down and cut everything. So I think I'll, it'll be all right. I mean, it'll be all right. I mean, if it looks bad, I can flip it over and it'll be the bottom. Or you won't even see it actually because it'll be covered by the black metal part, but so 
I'm going to fix that tomorrow, I think. What else uh, going on? So you guys saw, you saw a spray paint of these, a couple coats, maybe a couple more, a couple more, a couple more uh, hits on it. I think it'll be done. But looking good. Looking really good. All right, guys. I'm going in. Yeah, I'm not staying. I'm hurting. Love you guys. Hope you're having a good night. I will see you tomorrow. Plus, I could upload a video for you guys. So, I'll see you in a minute. Good to each other. Love you. Okay.